As of right now, we are under a shortage condition on the Colorado River uh, this year, and we are going to be under a shortage condition next year. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Water is such a hot topic right now, and uh, we've had you on before, and, and I know that everybody's questioning what's going on with water. So we all see Lake Mead. You see the bathtub ring, and your first reaction is, oh, my goodness, we're running out of water. Tell me what's going on with uh, the levels at Lake Mead. Yeah, I, you know, look. Lake Mead is in our backyard. It is something that all Southern Nevadans see uh, relatively frequently. But look, lake levels have dropped 170 feet since this drought started in 2002. So we are in two decades now of drought conditions that really are the manifestation of climate change. As we see the snowpack and and uh, the amount of precipitation that falls within the Colorado Rockies. We've seen that diminish pretty significantly over these past 20 years, which has resulted in less runoff getting into the Colorado River and then eventually making its way down to Lake Mead after going through Lake Powell. Right. And the you know water demands that we see on Lake Mead, <clears throat> California, Arizona, the country of Mexico, and as well as us here in uh, in Southern Nevada, right. you know those demands haven't changed significantly. However, Southern Nevada certainly has been pulling its weight, reducing its water demands, not taking its full allocation of river water, but. As a result of the declining water levels, uh, back in 2007, when the seven states agreed to the operating guidelines for how Colorado River would be operated with Lake Mead and Lake Powell, uh, they also set specific trigger elevations. Should Lake Mead fall and hit those trigger elevations, they would then result in reductions in water um, uh, availability for Arizona, for mm -hmm. Nevada. And California uh, didn't have to take any reductions at that time, but in 2019, a new agreement was reached that brought California certainly to the table to take reductions as well. So as of right now, we are under a shortage condition on the Colorado River uh, this year, and we are going to be under a shortage condition next year. It is going to reduce the amount of water that our community can take from the river. As a result of these shortage conditions next year, our 300,000 acre foot allocation will become 275,000 acre feet. But last year, our community's water use was 242,000 acre feet. And I know I throw a lot of numbers there, but our water use last year was well below our shortage allocation and reductions that we're going to need to make next year. And that's because of the conservation efforts. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio.